後に大ヒットを連発するスプリームスは最初の3年間全くヒットを出せませんでしたそんな彼女たちを救ったのはホランド・ドジャー・ホランドのチームです We had watched people come into Motown, be signed, and get a hit record and go on. And we were the first female girl group there, female group there. So, anyway, when Eddie brought us this song, it was to be our, I think,、uh, 12th release, something like that. I heard the song, we heard the song, and at that time I was kind of more or less the spokesperson. I spoke up, you know. And, and I said, Eddie, we want a hit. This song is not a hit. And this, I said, it's like, it's nothing. It's, it's like, baby, baby, where did our love go? Baby, baby. You know, I said, it's, it's nothing. I said, look at Martha and the Vandellas. We want a hit like theirs. We want a soulful record. And he said, Mary, trust me, this is going to be a hit. I started crying. I mean, I was begging the guy, please give us a hit. This is how desperate we had become. They asked me to open up the finishing school there, Motown Finishing School. Of course, the youngsters, you know, they came from humble beginning, and some were rude and crude and from the street and the project. But with me, it isn't where you come from, it's where you're going. She taught us how to, to be elegant, and that's what we wanted. It wasn't something, we weren't being taught something that we didn't want. We wanted to be better, we wanted to, you know, aspire to be the best. She said, Now, ladies. <laughs> oh, golly. We used to hate her then. <laughs> well, we didn't do it in a vulgar way. With Diana Ross and the Supremes, we worked on singing and expressing herself. Looking pleasant and, and with a smile, and maybe a gesture, and how to handle a mic, you see, so that the mic d o n t handle you. I don't want you ever to look forward,、uh, lean forward. You do not protrude the buttocks. In many cases, the artists just went out and they sang and they danced and they jumped around, and、uh, they wasn't accustomed to. Having to be concerned about projection and、uh, physical drama.、Uh, you had to add a lot of、uh, movement that,、uh, that would be attractive to the ladies. And the ladies had to do movements that would attract the men. I think I am. Or some lonely. Sometimes, when I was working with the Supremes on that movement, Mary used to say to me, You're trying to teach me how to look ladylike, which is exactly what I was doing, because I was giving them moves like very feminine moves where you use your shoulder, wave your hands, and all this kind of business, and、uh, keep you so that the fellas are going to really. Notice what you're putting down. We would go into artist development at Motown and work on, on a song, and it would take hours. And we put in hours every day learning those routines. People have often said that Motown kind of made us over and made us into these sophisticated little dolls, you know. But I think that's something that we, we brought within ourselves. And so Charlie was able to keep us the way we were, but still keep that sophistication and to, and to keep it sexy and to keep the rock and roll, all that as one unit. You know, I'm so、lonely. Charlie really started 